from YouTube to the first ever bag of crap article. Now about three and a half, actually four years ago, before Review the World was a dot com, I did an article for a different website called One Minute Reviews where I did a, a bag of crap. And a local thrift store actually sells, they're not called bags of crap, uh, technically. That was a name I dubbed them. Mm -hmm. But they have bags of toys, miscellaneous toys. These are 69 cents a piece. They can range up to 99 cents. Okay. And um, I just kind of blindly grab a few. And uh, now, every few weeks on our YouTube channel, we're going to be taking a look at a bag of crap. Um, Tim has no prior knowledge of what's in here. I don't really either. Uh, we're just going to reach in, and um, one by one, we're going to take a look at the bag of crap. As a wise man once said, going through a thrift store is a bit like treasure hunting. You usually aren't going to find much. Sometimes you find the, the occasional gold nugget. Let's see what we got here. Okay, man. Oh. The... Wait a second. Um, this is a great way to start the bag of crap, because this is a bona fide piece of shit. Um, Tim, it's some kind of a robotic creature, mm -hmm. and yet it has no face, and in fact it's missing one of its arms. You know, uh, when you first pulled it out, I thought it was supposed to be Grimace from those old McDonald's commercials. Yeah, but, I could see that. Um, I don't know, maybe his face came off, or... In any case, uh, yeah, if, if uh, a kid had gotten this, I think they'd be a little ticked off. Yeah, and that's why I think that it's a giant mess, like the one I left in my shorts last week. It's uh, it's hideous. I mean, maybe we'll find the other arm in the bag, and it will be redeemed, but I sincerely <laughs> doubt it, knowing how crappy... Crap stores work. Yeah, I mean... Uh, next up, we're going to just reach in here and... Jesus, I got a hold of something. It's like fishing. And uh, this oh. new arm theme seems to be a recurring... Okay, here we've got... Prince that had him. We've got He-Man, and I, I got to tell you, I love He-Man. The original cartoons, the mm -hmm. ones that they did in the '90s, where Skeletor was suddenly now a guy full of puns. Mm -hmm. And this is from the, the the newer Masters of the Universe series that was on mm -hmm. Cartoon Network four, five, six years ago. Okay. Um, I love He-Man stuff. So at first, I, I'm excited to see it, but uh, Tim, upon second thought, two things struck me as odd. And as you pointed out, the arm is. And there's and now you know it kind of plays with continuity of the series mm -hmm. because now I'm looking at He Man and he looks like some kind of a bionic man. Mm -hmm. Are they implying that that He Man is is not a real man? Because if so, that just ruins the whole mythos. Of yeah. The, the He Man zeitgeist has officially been ruined today thanks to the Valley of Rift. And the second thing that's really bothering me, Tim, is that there seems to be a giant green rock coming out of his anus. Yeah, either that or he has the worst case of diarrhea in the history of Cartoon Network. And, and he really needs to analyze his fiber intake. And, and, and don't tell me, don't send me an email and say he's sitting on the rock. If you take a close look, they're melded together as one. He and the rock are, are, are mutual. I remember one of my Indian guides telling me once that I must become one with the rock. Well, evidently, He-Man took that literally. Ow. Continuing now is, I think that's supposed to be Cobra from the G.I. Joe series, maybe? No, it's it's, it's not Cobra. It's, <coughs> it's a, just a generic ninja. Now, now, Tim, I know you have some martial arts experience. Um, take a look at this thing and just tell me, you know, word association, if anything comes to mind. I mean, he's sculpted like a Greek god. This guy's got more muscles than, I mean... The word that comes to my mind is toothpaste. That actually, he reminds me of one of those crest guys, except he doesn't. He's got that there. So ah, yeah, the sparkly. <laughs> now another thing that is kind of throwing me about this guy is that, and Tim, I, I'm sure you can pick this up as well. He's translucent. Indeed. Um, it's not that he's wearing a a, a, a glittery costume. Uh, he's actually see through. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that he doesn't? He's not a man. I mean, there's flesh colored here, but I mean, I can see through him. I don't know. I remember back in uh, the cartoons I used to watch, they were always obsessed with getting invisibility suits. I remember in G.I. Joe's ah. and Batman, maybe it's supposed to be an invisibility suit. That's a good call. I don't know. Once uh, I asked my dad to get my get me the Batman ind invisibility suit for the action figure, and he came home, handed me, you know, here it is! It's an invisible Batman! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Clever. Indeed. I'm um, blindly reaching in here, and I'm... Um... The hell is this? I don't know, but uh... okay. Now I'm really offended, um, Tim. Two reasons uh, that just jumped to mind. Mm -hmm. One is that his hair is flesh colored. Okay, nobody has flesh colored hair, dude. Indeed. I mean, it, I know it's a cheap toy, but you gotta go the extra mile and put a little bit of brown number five on top. Mm -hmm. 
The second thing is his shirt, I find kind of offensive. It, it says Rue Boys with a Z on it. I don't know what's that. That's implying. And there's a button on the back which does absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So what, is this an action figure of my boring next door neighbor? I mean, I don't know. He, he kind of has that whole poser mentality of I'm cool when he's not. This doesn't work. He does do the splits. That's a little gay. And there's a hole on the top of his head. What's the backstory there? We'll never know. Indeed. Uh, I'm reaching back into this luscious bag of shit and, um, holy the hell. Light. What the hell have they done to my favorite character? Uh, what? Spidey got... Uh, it looks like more radiation poisoning now. His limbs are no longer proportional. I don't know what's going on here. His feet are now the size of a Buick. His hands are ridiculous. You know what this is? This is Popeye wearing the Spider-Man outfit. You're right. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, Christ. he's even got knee pads with his own face on him. The ego. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this uh, apparition, this, this appendage that he has on his chest. It kind of looks like he took a little bit of Cyclops uh, on one of his old costumes and mixed it in there. Yeah, I can kind of see the blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. He's got an ass like Beyonce. I mean, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. Indeed.